Which, let's talk about when you started doing voiceover. You were so young. Five or six, well, when you started doing voices. Okay. Five or six, I should, right. yes, clarify. Five or six, that seems so young to start doing voices and discover that you could do impersonations and well, you and the, but the, your voice. I, I, well, interesting that you say that because the first one that I did was... Yes, the duck. Really bad version. Well, you gotta start it's somewhere, hideous right? Hideous version. So I was literally like talking from the back of my throat, you know. <laughs> and my brothers, being older brothers, mm. doing their job, just said, that was horrible. <laughs> wow, that, that was bad. And so, and I have no idea how I found it, but I stumbled onto how Ducky Nash, the original Donald Duck, did it. And oh, it's really? basically, it's tucking, it's tucking the back of your tongue in between, in between the, like in that area of your jaw where the mm -hmm. hinge comes together. So your, so your tongue kind of wedges in there. And your pussy fell down right there. It's like, we're gonna, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna do something here. So you feel that, you feel that vibration? Mm -hmm. Okay, now wait. How much vibration None. was there? A bunch of vibration. Yeah, that's where the really? sound is being produced. And okay. of course, one of my one of my first, because um, I also like to do foley, mm -hmm. but not real foley. And explain what human foley, foley is. In foley case is people sound effects. Foley is sound effects. So you know, when you do real foley, you like take twigs and break them, and, or you know, what they'll do is they'll take a, they'll take a bunch of celery and smack it with a bat, and that simulates the sound of ribs breaking. Yeah. You know. But you know, when we do mouth foley, it's like, whoosh, you know, that yeah, sort of yeah, thing, yeah. you know? <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. So the first mouth foley that I remember doing was a spaceship landing, uh -huh. which was literally. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, yeah. Which this is just a repurposed Donald Duck. I was going to say, it sounds like Donald Duck. Yeah. <laughs> Flying off. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. But, you That's know, awesome. I'll, look, I'm the same guy who also does... Oh. <laughs> you know, yes, I do my own lightsaber fights. <laughs> what can I tell you? I was a very lonely child. <laughs> Um, oh, kind of sad. Fun. Oh, yeah. fun, fun, fun. <laughs> Let's talk about some more characters. Okay. Before we go, Voltron. Where's the poster? Ah, there it is, right in front of me again. Gosh. Set a course for Voltron. Love it. Yep. yep and yep, what yep, else yep. do we have? Oh, here's. here's um, Madara Uchiha from Naruto. Yes. Which, of course, I call Naruto because <laughs> I'm a stupid American and I pronounce things wrong. And tough, because you know what I mean. It's one of these things. It's like one of the things that drove me crazy and still mm -hmm. drives me crazy sometimes about anime is if somebody says, Neil, 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 Neil. I mean, pronounce it slightly wrong. I'll still know you're talking to me. Right. Okay? But in Japanese, you slightly mispronounce something. You know, it's like Naruto. 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 And it's like, and I would just be just this shade off and it would just drive me nuts. <laughs> Cause like my English ear isn't hearing the difference. I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> so. Oh, hear that sound? This is what I learned in panel two. That's, I'm telling your secrets. That's what he does when he wakes up. No, 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 oh, no, 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 no. Just no, at some point in the morning, at some oh, point, at some in, the point morning, in the morning, I just kind of go. <laughs> and if I can hit that, it's like, okay, I can, my voice is okay. Yeah, that's like when I, you know, like my scared character. And that I ripped off from another actor <laughs> oh, when I was a kid. You? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You take, and, and it's funny because I've, I've credited some people sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, he did a play, and 
Uh, it was called A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Forum. He played a character that was nervous. And whenever things went wrong, you go... <laughs> and so I just kind of stole that. So it's like, you know, when my characters get scared, I don't want to go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, now so. you'll have to listen for that. It happens sometimes. I use it I use it more often in auditions and don't necessarily book the role, but it's oh. okay. Oh. Um, Who else do we have? Well, that's the same well, guy. That's the same guy. I know. I was just showing the cool picture. Yeah, but it's the same voice. And, oh. What? What? Well, what? the other thing I want to yes. have you talk about yes. is how important the microphone can be when you're doing characters. So what we may hear, don't roll. No, 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 eyes. no, because the, because, the, because the way you say it, it's like, yeah, you know, when you're recording voiceover, the microphone is very important. <laughs> Please tell the people how important a microphone is when recording things. Well, it's Elise, like a camera. It's, it's so important really important when, you when you're stuff. recording <laughs> to have something that's capable of recording involved. You were asking about the importance of using well, the microphone as as an assist, as, as an assist. far as as far as ca creating characters. Yes. I mean, we obviously said. we've obviously covered that a microphone is important <laughs> yes. in the recording process. We have. Good. Yes, we've covered that. But, you know, one of the things that I run across with, with conventions is people will ask to hear certain voices. Yes. And I can't, I mean, I can do them, but I'll say, I you really won't hear it, you know, because it's one of these things like, you know, um, Madre Uchiha, who's a little quieter. You know, all the way over here, yeah. aren't you very special? You know, then it doesn't really carry. Mm -hmm. um, or I do, or I do something really kind of deep throated, like Tychus Finley. Hell, yeah, it's about time. Just doesn't carry. But if I get on the mic and kind of eat it, well, then you get all those wonderful bass tones. They carry, they strike the microphone. And if you know how to use it, let the microphone do some of your heavy lifting. That's where, you know, you can do a little bit more. So, you can go ahead and play a very quiet, but very intelligent, very threatening character. Because, here's the thing. If you think of, if you think of powerful people and powerful characters, they don't yell, mm -hmm. okay? Um, it's like Darth Vader, with the exception of one moment, never yelled, okay? The only time he yelled was when he had been Darth Vader for 37 seconds. He just stopped being Anakin Skywalker. So, no! That was the only time we ever heard Vader yell. So, <clears throat> one of the things that I believe in is, I mean, certainly I've been told this is, you know, if you really want to make someone listen, you get quieter. You make them listen. You make them pay True. attention. Yeah. It's um, and so again, when you're recording that, mm -hmm. you've got to know, and that's why I'm one of those people that likes to use headphones. I'm not a big fan oh. of doing in the in the room with room tone. Yes. Because a lot of what I do, it's not that I'm sitting there and monitoring per se. Yeah. So I'll like turn my cans down really low. You know, so it's just ever so slight, and I can hear that it's at least coming through the microphone. Okay, okay? yes, because there is a big debate. Like, do you do the headphones? Do you not do the headphones? It depends. It depends what you're doing. Like, there are some characters that are very close to me, and so it's less voice, more acting. Mm -hmm. um, and that's not to say that, I mean, I. one of the things that I teach is don't do voices, play characters. That's you know? great, that's so profound. But that's that's the difference is people do voices. Hey, I do voices! <laughs> it's like, well, that's great, but it doesn't mean anything unless you play the character. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna be that dumb guy, give me a dumb guy! <laughs> you know, it's yes. like, it's like be, be the character. 
it's sort of like the other thing that I that I, that I tell my students these days is if you get the opportunity to audition for a well-known character or a character you've always loved, the world is filled with 7.2 billion people. They're gonna let a thousand people read for Superman. So in the grand scheme of the world, you've come closer to playing Superman than the vast majority of the planet. Mm -hmm. So, when you get handed that copy, be Superman. Because mm. that may be the only time that you get to do it. Mm -hmm. But again, you're closer than most anybody else on the planet's gonna love... get. Yeah, you know? That. It's like, you gotta, it's one way that you learn to be okay with somebody else booking the role. You learn to be okay with, all right, they went with Tim Daly, a celebrity. It's like, yeah, but for that moment, for those three minutes you were in the booth auditioning, if you do it right, you are Superman. You know? It's like when I'm when I'm working, I'm seeing the movie in my head. And sometimes it's shot third person, and sometimes it's like a video game where it's first person and I see it. But I've gotta be able to picture the the you know, my surroundings and what's going on. I did I did BlizzCon back in 2010 when they introduced us for StarCraft II. Mm -hmm. And up on, the, up on the stage with us was one of the cast members, uh, Trish Helfer, who is mostly an on-camera actress. Um, you might know her from playing the uh, beautiful blonde Cylon on Battlestar Galactica. Yes. So somebody asked, what's it like when you voice act? We go down the line and we're telling our story and she goes, now with me, I've done stuff on camera. I know when I'm shooting Battlestar that I see the set. Yeah, there are boom mics over there and there's crew and whatever, but I can still out of my peripheral vision or depending on where we're, we're filming, right. I see the set. I'm holding the gun in my hand. I'm seeing the other actor that I'm talking to. So. A lot of that's taken care of, and the imagination part is just to bridge those gaps mm -hmm. and play the character. But in voiceover, none of that's there. It's all here. And if she doesn't buy it, and this is the same for all of us, if you don't feel the heft of that gun, something's gonna be missing. It's like when I do when I do battle-based video games. I come home wiped out. When I did, when I did, you know, um, uh, Gears of War 4, mm -hmm. I used to come home from those sessions drenched with sweat and just like, I'm gonna take a nap. You know, because I mean, it's all, it's battle stuff. So it's like, I'm sitting there with all my muscles, absolutely. Yeah. Cause you can't sit there and go, get him! Cause it just doesn't <laughs> it just sound doesn't, right. right. You have to really kind of, Get him! You know, and you've got to, you've got to like have that whole, you know, your muscles are tensed up. You hear not only the emotional aspects of it, but the physical aspects of it. So and true. if you're not playing that, it's just not gonna read right. You know, so for me, I'm in the middle of that in my head. I'm a, I'm a five-year-old. I literally am. I see everything. I see the villain, or in my case, usually the hero, um, <laughs> and I see the setting and, and all of that stuff. And you know, every now and then, like when we were doing when we were doing Destiny, I mean, they would bring in, you know, some video and also StarCraft, StarCraft Two. They would bring in some of the video, the background work for us to look at before we recorded. And I remember specifically before. My last scene in StarCraft II, they showed me the opening section mm -hmm. before they came into the set where we were. And I was so blown away by the vista they had created that it's like, you know, it, it's one of these things. I mean, it was Blizzard, and it's just like, it's a blizzard of talent. They would tell me, oh, dude, we would hear your takes and just go, oh, man, we got to up this. And it's like, really? Because oh, really? I would see your art and go, oh, are you kidding? Game on. Oh, you know, it's awesome. like the challenge yeah. is there. Look at this. You know, and the same thing with Destiny. I mean, I would see some of the stuff and just go, 
jumping Jehoshaphat. This is crazy. And if it's gonna look that real, you gotta play it just as real. Yeah. You know, and video games have come to the point that they're like movies, oh. in, but in the sense that there is no one style. You know, it's like it runs the gamut. I did, I did a couple of video games a, a few weeks ago that will be, I think, coming out in 2020. But it was literally the most subtle work I've ever done. Really? Yeah. And one of them was something where I went without the cans because it was ba it was it was me. Mm -hmm. It was me. So it's like just feel the scene. Don't worry about the sound. The sound doesn't matter. It's like I don't need to hear the sound right now with you because I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm talking, I'm just right, talking, right. I'm being in the moment. So when the character exists kind of close to me, then I can go without the cans. Or if I know the character that well, you know, and my whole thing is I buy into the philosophy of you name, name the characters. When you name them, they're easier to remember. I don't have to think about Optimus Prime. Mm -hmm. I know where he is. Mm -hmm. Reach back on the shelf in my head, pull him out, and there he is. You know, so it's like, oh, so if I combine this and this, then I got something else new. You know, like you may take that you may you may take the Optimus Prime gravel and then you pitch it up a little bit, you pinch it, and you add a little bit of New York to it, and suddenly you got somebody entirely different. That's the alchemy of what I do. Is I make up, I I've said for so long, yeah, I do 300 voice. I don't know how many voices I do. It's infinite because it's really a matter of combining different things. You know, I mean, let's face it, you play this guy, you know, you can play that guy, he's, uh, he's just a bystander. Hey, I don't know, mister, I didn't see nothing. You could go ahead and make him a villain. What do you mean you didn't see nothing? Oh, Hey, you, leave him alone. He said he didn't see nothing. And so you add the attitude. Mm-hmm. And then that becomes a new voice, a new character. When all you've done is take this element, this element, mix it together, and then combine it with attitude. Wow. And that's that's, that's that's what I teach. That's um, what yeah, that's what you do. Yeah, and 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 li just like in the video, I I, I said it uh, when we were doing Destiny um, Entertainment uh, Weekly mm -hmm. came in and did a video. And it's really strange because it starts off with Lance Reddick from The Wire and Gina Torres from Firefly and Nathan Fillion from Castle, you know, and then me. So, okay, that's weird. So they, they you know, I'm, I, I literally like, I'm like screaming his goal. Ah! Um, did, did you guys want me to pitch that down? And then they cut to something else and I said, it, it's what I do. Yeah. And that's and that's like literally like my catchphrase. It's it's what I do. It's what I do. Yeah, it's what yeah. you do. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Well, I loved hearing about what you do. The Especially now so that great. you hear. Wait, listen. That's the sound of an empty hall because I just talked for so <laughs> gosh darn long. I loved it. I loved it. Is this it. gonna be like a two parter? It's gonna be a, like a fifteen parter. I think. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. This You're was fantastic. Welcome. Yeah. Now we're gonna get some barbecue. We are. Barbecue. Okay, we're... do you have like an outro? Do you, do you I, have an yeah, outro? Yeah, you know what I say? No, what do you say? Hey, oh, wait. Wait, what? I like to do giveaways. Can we do it? What is with this guy? Go on. I like to do a giveaway. Right. You can subscribe and leave a comment and that will enter you into the giveaway. I like to do an autograph poster. May we do that? I How about a print, since I don't have posters? Well, everybody calls them a poster. I, I don't. I call the them prints. Print. Okay, we're going to Because what print. happens is if you promise somebody a poster and you send them a print, they go, This isn't, this a, isn't print. a poster. What, man? Come on. And I don't like disappointing people. So it's a print. It's so kind. It's a print. So we're going to do It's a nice a print. print. Yeah. Uh, what print would you like to autograph and give away? I think probably the best one would be to go with a character ah, shot because yes. this way hopefully there's somebody in this vast majority that you've heard of or you like other than, you know, it's like sign a, a Digimon and they go, oh great man, I wanted to get Voltron. <laughs> You know. Okay, so surely there's somebody you like in All there. Alright, so, so here you we have go. to, okay. Do, 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 do. This made 
me miserable. I like but tears. I hope tears you are coming down my face. Enjoyed it. Oh my gosh, I am brokenhearted. I'm going so, to need therapy after this interview. Then it was no, we're taking a positive term at the end. Oh. All worth it. <laughs> Love always. Neil Kaplan. Okay, well this was just joyful. So here's my outro. Yeah, no, I, I actually wrote that. I actually wrote that. Yes. It's made me absolutely miserable, as you can tell. So barbecue's gonna be fun. Yeah, that'll be awkward, huh? Yeah, it's so awkward. She's gonna like sit there going, I hope the ribs made you happy. Anyway, so I have to say thank you. No, you don't. That's what you do no, at you the don't. end of no. interviews. Oh, all right. If you feel you must. I feel I am a like good Southern girl, so I have to say thank you. Hey, thank you. This has been so much fun. <laughs> yeah, it's been a blast. <sighs> Um, I, I, I seriously hope people out there, they're like sitting there going, what a jerk, man. I mean, even though I did write that, you know I didn't mean it. I just like to tease. He does. Yeah, I'm, I'm the youngest of three boys, so I didn't get to do a lot of teasing growing up. So I'm making up for lost time. Uh, well, you're very good at it. Thank you. It's, you're lucky I love sarcasm. I really do. Okay, it's been fun. Uh, high five. Yeah, it's been. And see now he's Hold on. Even wait, 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 wait. No, no, try it like this. No, what? Try it. Thanks, Elise. I had a great time. Thanks, Neil. You were the best interviewee I've ever had. Yep, sure was. Yeah. Great. We'll have to do it again some. High five. Time. Okay. Don't call me, I'll call you. What are you going to call me? Just keep your phone by you. She didn't get it. She didn't even get it. She didn't get what? it. What? Did you say, when am I going to call no, you? No, I said, what are you going to call oh. me? Oh. I didn't hear the wet part. Wow. Yeah, I know. I know. This is one of those ones where you're going to like roll the credits as we. Yeah. Just ramble yeah. On, and then it's just going to cut, go to. Actually, probably people have like moved on by now. Oh, I know. I did. Yeah. I, I moved on. Oh, yeah. On. Mentally, I'm, yeah, I, I'm, I'm like, I've checked out. I can't I'm like not even them. here. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, like, like uh, wow, I'm on autopilot. Yes. Yeah. Who, let's go watch another interview. I okay. mean, on Anime Adventures. Like, oh, all right. Haven't... Watch the one with Eric Vale. <laughs> I'm just saying. There's so many. There's like 24 or 25. Don't say that. Oh, there's like 400? Yeah, because like if they watch this in three years, it's like oh. you've committed to the 24 or 25. Oh, yeah. You can't do that. Can't. You say there's a bunch. There's a bunch. I'm going to yeah. edit that. There's yeah, exactly. So don't forget to watch the one with Barack Obama. <laughs> yeah, he's totally into anime. Totally. I was shocked by some of the things that he said. Yeah. You know, too. didn't realize he was such a big fan. He's a huge fan. Yeah, so check that out. Yeah. Basically, I've given you a vision quest. Really? Yeah, I just did. I laid it out there, and it's now about making that happen. You know? Let's see. Who else? Oh, right. I love the episode with Brad Pitt. I oh, thought you were great. Thank you. It was great interviewing Brad Pitt. He yes. called me and said, can I be on Anime Adventures? Well, that's what happens when you've done a thousand episodes like you have. It, it is. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I've had so many people call me. So remember, folks. Don't drink and fly this New Year's Eve and have a great 2099. See you later. Think they want it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. That's all. Now we just get up and go home. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> yeah.